Hey everyone, this is a final conclusion to the uh, five-part series now with the EVGA CLC120. Um, they're the model CL11 water coolers. And as you can see, I have them in here and installed, systems up and running. And um, if you hear noise off to the side, that's my main desktop, which is uploading YouTube videos right now. So there's a little bit of noise from that, but this system is extremely quiet. Uh, most of the noise is coming from the Zotac GPU, which is even, I mean, as you can see, the, the fans aren't spinning very quickly. Um, and the power supply, but this fan cuts off, uh, it has an eco mode, so the fan just, you know, it'll come on and off as it needs to. These fans in the front are barely pushing any air. They really don't need to, to keep the CPUs cool. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm running this thing at full synthetic load right now. And as you can see, it's been going for about two minutes, but I've been doing all kinds of testing on this. And as you can see, the max temps are just about 42 Celsius on the hottest. And on the other processor, we're looking at about 41 Celsius. And these are with dual E5 2620s. So nothing special processor wise, but um yeah i mean these these coolers can handle uh anything you put up, put them on uh, you can put dual e5 2697 v2s you know the 12 cores and these will handle it totally fine um it's a super awesome setup and i, I really like the way it turned out um I, I guess there's really not a whole lot to say other than uh, it's quiet. It's efficient. I really like it. I think I'm going to... I really like it so much that I... Th I don't know. I have some plans in the works, but I think I might replace my main box with this. Replace my FreeNAS box with an identical one to this. And we'll have liquid cooling on both. And I'll keep my Super Micro 45 Bay DAS. And... Um, yeah, I, I, that's what I'm thinking about right now, at least, because this setup just keeps it so cool and quiet, and um, yeah, so I really like it. I like everything about this build, and this is the anniversary build um, with a couple changes of my own. Uh, you know, it's got the 1,000-watt gold power supply. It's got a GPU in it. Um, the GPU, you can really fit any GPU. There's plenty of room. So this is a 1080 mini, but I have a 1070 with a custom PCB and it, and it comes up to like about here. Still fits totally fine. Uh, you know, it's a Rosewell for you, so there's plenty of headroom for that. And I don't think that there's another, there's not enough room here for another water cooler. Uh, if you were to mount an 80 millimeter fan, you could put one on this side. As you can see, there's already holes for it. But it really just solves all the problems if you put all of the fans on this side of the fan wall. And again, I've got the fan wall in the normal configuration, and it's in the frontmost uh, frontmost position. And you could probably even move it a little bit farther forward if you drilled a couple holes, but I don't think it's super necessary. Um, yeah, so if you have questions about this build uh, or the cooler setup, or really anything, um, feel free to ask, and I'll be happy to help you out, or somebody else with the anniversary build can help you out. Uh, a lot of people are having fun with this build, and the motherboard's still in stock. The, the seller just added a IO shield uh, to the options for an extra 10 bucks. If you don't want one, the price will go back down to the normal $175, um, otherwise it's 185 if you want the IO shield. And, I think that's the only thing that changed. Just remember to use coupon code JDM at checkout and that'll give you the extra, I think it's like $19 off uh, or 20 bucks off. So that's about it. And this will wrap up the series for these EVGA CLCs. Um, I highly recommend them. They're back in stock right now. I think they're $39.99, basically a pre-order. So you can order now and you'll get them when they come back. Um, I'll have the link in the description below but i really like these 
And if you have more questions about that, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. Um, thanks for watching this series and I'll catch you guys next time.